match three in the bowl group on day two of the Hong Kong Sixes. India win it, the toss, what do they do? They have a ball first. Here's the New Zealand lineup. Todd Astle, the skipper. This is the Indian lineup. Robin Utapa has been in fine form with the bat. It's Robin Utapa. Start proceedings for India with a wide. And that's flying out of the ground. Goes to six. The first one of this match of the bat of Siddhesh Dixit. Yeah, it's a good shot. It's halfway down. And that goes over long off for another maximum. A little bit military medium here. It's just not working for Robin at the but this one goes down leg. Well, that's not a bad delivery. Just bamboozling the batsman there. This has been whacked out of the park. 33, three sixes, four wides, a boundary. That over had everything. For a chip lean to the attack, and uh, the misery continues. There's absolutely nothing that the bowlers are offering the Kiwi batsman. Todd Astle he smacks a full toss for maximum. Where does he bowl this one? It's another full toss. It's another six. It's bigger than the previous one. Once again, into the crowds. I, I, I'm trying to come up with this. Some words, some, some way of giving some positivity around this Indian bowling so far. And it's escaping me, I'll be honest. 16 of this over already from Bharat Chipley. Well, that's... That's out. The umpire raises his finger. Chipley coming around the wicket just with a little extra pace and bounce. Going across Todd Astle as... Created the mishap. Turns that into a full toss and sweeps it. Comes over the wicket. That is smashed. He had all the time in the world to rock back and hit that for a six. That's up in the air. And it's an easy catch for the keeper. It's looking like there's a little bit of variable bounce out the middle at the moment. And Xavier liking the leg side boundary rather than going straight. It's the outside edge or the top edge. A wicket. And that sails out of the ground yet again. But another six. Digging it in halfway down. Kiwi lads. Very, very happy on the back foot. That's gone. That's out of here. That's on the road. It's a massive six from Sadesh. He goes back to that slingy action and uh, that takes the edge. Goes to for another boundary. And in short. And uh, Sadesh takes it. He makes sure that Kedar Jadav pays the price for that. I was actually just going to wonder. And like we anticipated, Siddhesh Dixit with a score in 49, it's a 6. And will retire on 55 and a strike rate of 458. Hoggy? Excellent shot, brilliant innings from Sadesh. 55 off 12. If he hit a six, he would have had the quickest 50. And Shavas Nadim starts off with a wicket. Absolute beauty. Something out of the blue. Got it the right length. And bowl under the bat. It's absolute perfect Yorker. Sam Cassidy goes for six of just three deliveries. Oh, that's a full toss. Dispatch for four. And Shavas Nadim. Takes a huge hit of Henry McIntyre's bat. 
10 already of the over with a wicket. Powerful young lad. Any opportunity, he's going to go big. Doesn't hold back Henry McIntyre. Robin at the puck. And smash straight down the ground. Come to that. Another six. Another shot delivery from Stuart Binney. Yeah, we've seen some great cricket. And this is another shot that. Uh, what a fantastic piece of batsmanship. It's got the height. That's another six. That's a wonderful shot as well. That's going to be another boundary. And he's just freeing his arms. That's another boundary. That's a flat bat at six. And uh, the Indian bowlers, they have no answers to this onslaught. There's only one shot I haven't seen him play today, and that's the cut shot. And he finishes it off in style. Well, New Zealand were wonderful with the bat. Sadesh, 55 off 12. He started the onslaught. And then Ronick coming in with 33 off 7, getting New Zealand to 146 for the loss of three wickets. And there's nothing really about the bowlers, Hoggy. Apart from Shabazz, uh, there's not much you can talk about in that bowling conglomerate. Timing. Sweet timing from Robin Utappa. It's become his trademark shot in this tournament. Good positioning. McIntyre looking to go a little fuller, looking for that Yorker. But again, when you don't get it right. The ground and Robin pulls it. That's gone. He converts that full toss, parks it in the crowd. Full toss, didn't use the facilities. And unfortunately, if you're going to bowl that, you're going to cop it. I reckon there's a bit of anger in that six. That's in the air, and there's a fielder, and Robin at the first gone. It's really well bowled, because he flights the ball. He takes pace out of the ball. He actually feeds with Robin Atapa's arc. His strong suit, he dangles the carrot. Robbie gobbles it up, as does Astor in the deep. And Niall O'Brien could have caught that. There you there you go, just underneath the ball. But uh, Srivats Goswami starts off with a six. Beautiful cricket shot. Niall O'Brien, look at him, look at him. Oh, yes. This is straighter, this is longer. This is massive. It's just what India needed. Goswami, powerfully built. Oh, the coaches call it step and swing. It's in the arc to hit. Clears that front leg. Beautiful, powerful blow down the ground. Chosen the ball first, not surprisingly. That goes to the boundary for four. Smash down the ground. One bounce, crashes into the boards. Boundary over mid wicket. And ends the over with another boundary. 17 of that. That six once again crashes in to a com box. Just out of the reach of the New Zealand fielder Cassidy. Gave it his all. Just couldn't get it. Brad Hogg, and that's gone. Chip Lee and his muscles. But peculiar bowling action from Ronak. He's going right arm through the umpire, but over the wicket. And he was absolutely pumped. Bizarre route to delivery. That is huge into the trees. Yeah, the Sixers just get seem to be getting bigger and bigger as we go through this tournament. That's the 50 partnership, and what a way to get there. Part Chipley. Chipley wants to have fun, but he holds out straight to Lama. Dixit in the deep, safely pouched by Sudesh. It was flat, it was firm, just didn't have the elevation. Chipley, who entertained us with three glorious sixes, just couldn't quite get under. It's good bowling for Cassidy, fast and full.
That's going again. That's huge. Yeah, beautiful strike from the wicketkeeper Koswami. He played well the last game. He's a good cricketer. He's a tidy keeper. Very efficient batter. Hoiked away, leg side. It's going to be. I think it was a bad. Well, don't forget about Abhishek Junjunwala, who seems to be getting away with it. He was out there as well. Doesn't want to have anything to do with that. That's a six. Nice hit down the pitch. Good footwork, very efficient. Final delivery. That's it. India's 100 is up, but New Zealand win by 44 runs. They put on 146, and that was good enough to completely out bat India. That's uh, New Zealand's first victory. Unfortunately, India remain winless. It's not been a good tournament for them. They conceded too many, and it's a New Zealand victory. 146 is what New Zealand put in response. India 102. was always want to be a little too many, Ran. Yeah, it was always tough because Goswami was absolutely outstanding with the bat, though. It was well worth watching. But the bowling from New Zealand, they did a great job. Cassidy, in particular, was very, very good. And the Kiwis get their first win of the Hong Kong Sixers. New Zealand, 146 today. Dixit is absolutely on fire. Smashing 55. Ronak with that cameo in the end. 146 on the board. India, they were never in it. Barring that innings of 42 from uh, Srivatsko Swami.